hello there and oh, welcome to the channel don't forget to subscribe anyway in this video we're going to be talking to you about the five, five common problems that you can have on your palm trees and the first one is going to be the dreaded black spot now this here is a chamirops humilis commonly known as the European fan palm and uh, when you look at the new leaves, the new leaves are usually absolutely fine, they've got a lot, lot of new growth waiting to come through but if you look a little bit closer on the old leaves and this is pretty typical of this plant you will see loads of these flipping black spots over, can you see them? Look at that. Actually that's got quite a lot on that one. Now this black spot uh, usually called leaf spot fungus is an absolute pain you can't really spray for it but you can uh, culturally manage the problem here now it's usually caused because the um, the cell walls on a palm are usually quite thin and the cells themselves are usually quite high in sugar so it's that's an ideal place for fungal attacks so um so what do you do well there's several things the the biggest cause of it is probably high nitrogen fertilizer which causes lush growth in the fronds and that creates an even weaker cell wall for these infections to take so my advice to you is uh, stop using my beloved miracle grow and use something with a high potash food such as a tomato fertilizer other things you can do is avoid overhead watering to reduce the uh, the moisture on the leaf that can encourage the fungal spores to travel around avoid keeping it in a position of humidity bring it out to where it can get a little bit of wind on it remove using your secateurs any infected uh, fronds and don't leave any infected waste in the base of the pot and overall reduce your water in a wee bit grow it on the hardy side problem number two is known as spear pull which isn't particularly descriptive uh, but you tend to find it on your more tender varieties of palm spear pull happens uh, over or after the winter when the new fronds become damaged and pull out from the crown um, leaving your crown in a bit of an absolute state. Now once the damage has been done there's not an awful lot you can do about it although some people use a solution of hydrogen peroxide and pull that down the crown in order to uh, do something or other. I'm not really sure what they expect to to occur there uh, maybe to sterilize any sort of fungal rots that may occur but usually you look after the plants in the spring and they tend to bounce back but it may take a year or two before you get a uh, a typical looking uh, crown or head on your palm tree problem number three is exposure and that's exposure to strong winds cold winds uh, harsh exposed conditions and even bulletproof palms such as your trachycarpus fraternii can succumb to it left exposed and your palms can become ragged damaged uh, and just in bits really and then in extreme cases it can start to go brown and die and look pretty shocking so overall it is a serious problem it's all about where you sighted your palm all you can do is lift it but be honest with you once they establish they are an absolute nightmare to lift so really once they're there they are there and uh, you will have to suffer with it however usually the following year when conditions improve you will get regrowth the only way you can really help it is to make sure it gets adequate watering and feeding during the growing season problem number four are water mobile fungal infections and uh, they are prone to all palm trees um, in particular when you plant them in a uh, soil that is not well draining they need well drained soil you keep them in waterlogged conditions which you'll find in clay soils or low lying lands and then the increase of phytophthora pythium what have you will increase and uh, it is a big problem with palm trees so this is all about cultivation you've got to plant it in the right conditions first so always free draining never waterlog conditions and that way you should avoid it ah you've reached problem number five so well done for 
sticking with the video this long now. Problem number five is actually more about decision making and a lack of research than anything else because there are a number of hardy palms out there that get absolutely enormous. In particular, and it's a popular one for growing around here on the south coast, is the Canary Island palm. But it's not just phoenix palms that get absolutely mad. <laughs> You've also got the booties, you also have the jubeas. You just need to do your research first. It doesn't matter how much money you have and how fancy a palm you can get. You've got to make sure you've got the growing space for it, otherwise it's going to cause you all sorts of problems. Anyway, that is my five common problems that you may or may not experience when growing palm trees. And if you've got anything else that you would like to add to this video, then you can do so by putting that in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.